Do you ever find yourself surrounded by something that looks like a problem, but you keep telling yourself it is not a problem? I'm definitely not in that situation. It's not like I have about 50 birds right now. Oh no. <laughs> no, there's been something on my mind recently. Actually, like, a lot of things on my mind recently. Especially when it comes to... Hi, buddy. Especially when it comes to the farm, the future, money, resources. Like a lot of it. And one of my goals is to be as environmentally friendly with the farming practices as I can be and to be sustainable. And the main project that's coming up soon is the duck house that's supposed to be right about there. So I've been really thinking about that project and how I can build it in a more sustainable way and a cheaper... I wish you guys could have seen that. Sonny got like three foot off the ground when she hopped off this hill. That was awesome. But it, how can I build this duck house in a cheap, environmentally friendly, and sustainable way. And just so happened I was watching YouTube and a few other different things, especially as I've, I've been researching how to mill lumber and all that, mainly because I want lumber for myself, I want to also sell some as a product, and coming with that, like a lot of other videos came up, especially since I do watch other homesteaders and all that, so of course homesteading videos would be recommended to me, And but another thing would be like bushcraft, off the grid, which is kind of, especially off grid part is like the end goal for the farm. I know it's kind of hard to what run an entire farm completely off the grid because you're talking. Are you done screaming at me? But it's very hard to run an, an operational farm off the grid because quite frankly farms require a lot of resources and it comes back to that same thoughts in my mind like how can I do it more environmentally sustainable way and looking into a lot of natural resources and all that if you don't have them on site and you have to go buy then you're talking a lot of money which I don't have right now so but then I got to thinking of course I was originally just going to build pure foundations for the duck house out of these stones that are on my property line and I got like piles of stones underneath my porch right now just from tilling up the garden and whatnot and there's plenty in there that's still good size I can build with so I got plenty of stones it's just a matter of getting them out cleaning them up and then looking over here where I want to build the duck house it is kind of on a hill if I were to level it with this little platform here I just had like a eureka moment if I dig this thing that I mean from like right here where my foot's at down to there, that's almost two foot. If I have the base of the duck house at ground level with the rest of this, right there's two foot, I'd have to build a wall. I think I have enough stone to do a two foot wall all the way around, basically. Right there's gonna cut down on lumber costs. That's a resource that I'm kinda short in supply of right now, although that resource is definitely growing as I get more connections and better at milling. But still, that's one less resource I have to take from the environment if I do a stone wall. The other advantage to that is, once you're in the ground a little bit, you also are using the Earth's temperature, so it'll stay cooler for the ducks in the summertime and warmer in the wintertime for them. And of course, if I come out here a little bit, instead of being flush with the fence and yes that's my coffee pot i'm kind of having a bad addiction with coffee right now maybe that's why i'm like rambling off on a lot of different things right now but anyways if i come out four foot or so and dig down that's a lot of overburden that i'd have to get rid of or in theory get rid of and then come back up i think it was in my pinterest where i seen it some cabin that had a sawed roof and bingo another eureka moment came off i can kill almost two birds with one stone with using a sawed roof of course you have the advantage of basically a free resource and two, it's an environmentally sustainable resource. Three, the grass that makes up sod can also be used as a resource. Them guys eat a lot of grass. Sometimes they overgraze some areas, especially up by the trees right now. Now all of a sudden, I have an area where I can grow grains that can be untouched by them, untouched by deer or rabbits, because most of my like grains that I purposely grew got completely destroyed by rabbits and deer. I do not foresee a deer jumping up a five foot wall to get to some grass and grains and all that. Now, of course, I wouldn't be able to grow corn in this sod, which I'm fine with that, but if I grow seasonal of wheat, oats, just your typical grass grains, that's a resource I can use. That's enough talking for now. I think I need to get to doing. That's a lot to dig. It's all gonna be by hand, but that's okay. I think as it, since it's kind of like really hot right now, instead of digging, I'm gonna get them stones out, get them cleaned up, and get some things marked up, and start working on my foundation, I guess. I didn't think I'd be working on this so soon, but my eureka moments have me ready to go. Or maybe it's 
all the coffee I've been drinking. I don't know. You guys decide, but let's get to work. When I say I've been busy recently, right there's some lumber I milled up. I got a couple actual boards finished up up there somewhere, but like I got a big slab over there of oak that I messed up, so that's gonna become my new bridge. Come up here, da 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 da. Like there's two finished boards I had. One buys. I don't know what the width are on them. I just kind of cut them. But I've been using them as straight edges. There's the other piece of my failed slab, so this would be the other part of my bridge. And here's my mess of milling. Milling is kind of hard work when you're just using a chainsaw. But I did upgrade, but unfortunately my brand new saw is kind of broken down right now. The learning process is kind of expensive at times. Uh, but here's the upgrade I got. It's a little on the cheaper side, but it is basically a steel MS660. Probably far more than I ever needed. Here's a bar I burn up for it, 36 inches, which is just massive. I think the biggest chainsaw I've ever ran before had a 20 inch bar, so when I got the 36 inch, that was, why was I in a world of learning and hard work? But I did invest into this thing right here. And actually, that's what I do, get mad and throw it on the ground. But, this is actually what I've been milling with more so recently with. It is definitely a little bit better quality than the jig. However, I still do like that little jig. It, kind of comes in handy so i know that was completely off topic from where i was at earlier but i came over here for my wheelbarrow and i decided to show off my board so i'm kind of proud of them <laughs> but that's okay back to grabbing the wheelbarrow come here little wheelbarrow get out of my way junk oh there's another board that i milled up just a little two by four kind of crooked i didn't realize my mill was a little loose on the one side so now i have wow well, yeah, it was the big oak slabs there where one side was two inches where i wanted it set at and then the other side went down to three quarters of an inch but anyways at least i got that board out of it that might be my door frame post for in the duck house once it's built something like that i mean can't waste failures there's always something to use from a failure whether it's a learning experience or a different use of the failed resource okay I need to stop talking and actually get to work. Oh, well, here's the upper end of the property. That whole line down to the red fence, nothing but these stones. In fact, at some point in time, it's almost two foot wide and 18 inches tall, so I should definitely have enough to build my walls. What do you guys want? Every time I come close to the fence, I get surrounded. I love it, even though they're noisy. That's okay, that matches my personality, especially right now. You guys done? It's like a universal thing. When you go shh, everybody knows to be quiet. Even these goofy birds. Well, I have one load of stones in here. At least all the more I want to carry. This is probably even a little too much. But there are some pretty good sized stones in here. That's awesome. These guys will be at the very bottom while the smaller ones will go up top. There's still plenty more in the dirt. It actually seems like it goes down just a tad bit. I think I'll have plenty of stones for this. And of course, I still have an audience. It's nice and cool up here at this corner. I don't want to go down there. I spot two little ducks that got out. But it's kind of nice once I get this little edge cleaned up. I'm going to move this fence basically right here to my property line. I might clear up some of this brush at the other side, but I really need to get in contact with my neighbor first. Still have not found out how to get in contact with the people that own this, or at least the woman. It's an old lady and she lives like 10 miles. I mean, I think I know where she lives, but I just don't want to show up at a stranger's doorstep and be like, hey, can I like trim some trees on your property? The ones that are at the very edge, that are line of mine, kind of just want to clear up like 10 foot in. I don't foresee it being a problem, but that's just, I don't know. I feel weird just showing up and asking that. But then again, if I don't do that, then I'll never be able to. Do I worry too much? I probably do. I did a re-layout of it. I brought it up the hill and out a little bit from originally planned. That way I can take advantage of part of it being practically below ground level. So this looks like a lot of digging to me because <laughs> it's about two foot, two to three foot, especially up at this upper corner. But I think this is going to be out my outer line of where I'm going to dig. So therefore the structure might be in a little bit. Once you consider 18 inch walls from stone, oh, this is going to be a lot of digging, but I think it'll be worth it. I guess I better start. Well, I got a good start on it for today. This is going to be a lot of digging. <laughs> But I've come to realize I'm going to run out of room to put the dirt real quick. And especially since I got another six inches go down, that way I can put a good base to it before I start laying the stones and the bedding. So that's why I kind of stopped. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> but that'll be it for this video. Finally got the groundwork done. But we got a, an important announcement and I kind of really didn't want to do this in a way because i'm not a big fan of handouts or anything but we are starting a patreon i situations changed in 
the money flow it coming in is not as well as what it used to be so we kind of got to make do with what we got but hence why the patreon's coming i don't want to sound as if i'm trying to get sympathy or whatever or asking for a handout as whatever we do make off of patreon will go directly to the farm itself whether it's improvement in infrastructure tools anything like that and especially like one of our first things we got to get is a newer camera or not newer but a better camera but there will be benefits to it we haven't really worked out the details yet i know for one certain level patreons will be able to submit names for the birds and other levels will be able to have their name or an alias etched into something that will go into the duck house or whatever else gets built on the property in fact i have planned i have a good log from maple i want to mill it up and i want to use that in the duck house in some sort of way but as we get more supporters in i will burn those names into that maple something like that but we also will have a private discord channel where patrons will be able to talk we can discuss get video ideas from you guys because that's more or less what this is going to be more about than it is us is connecting with you guys so if you don't want to support us on patreon then don't <laughs> I'm not, like I said, I, I, I don't even like doing it because I'm not uh, asking for a handout kind of guy, but, and it's not really asking for a handout because, like I said, there will be benefits to Patreon, so it's not really a handout. It's more of a service that we'll be providing, I guess. I don't know. I, I just still feel weird about it, but if you guys can, help us out on Patreon, and hopefully this farm will get off the ground running even quicker that way. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. How about it, birds? Buddy, you're a big goose. Yes, you are. Don't you shake your head at me. Look at them Muscovies. Mischief makers.